your girl, Keita Javon. And I'm back for another video. All right. And so what we're rocking today is 24 inch faux locks. Can you believe it? <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let's get into this crochet look, okay? So again, this is 24 inch faux locks that I bought on Amazon. Actually, it was gifted to me to do a review and I wanna get, let you guys know what I found. See if you like it, see if this is something you think will work and get y'all opinion, y'all. Like y'all know, y'all seen some of my other hair videos. I am a timid weave person to a certain degree. I love my crochets, but I like it to look natural looking. So. I did this install and I kind of wanted um, the individual parts to look more like individual faux locks. So I did the edges uh, that way and then I added it to other braids that I took back. So make sure you watch the install. Okay, so you guys, this is a different camera. My camera is in for repair and I'm looking rather not right, but I am about to do some more crochet. Because God is blessing and free hair is coming. Uh, so I'm expecting more, 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 more. But anyway, so I'm starting off like what I normally do. I'm not going to do a whole video. I'm just going to cut in some shots of my process and you guys will see the end. So currently I've kind of parted from side to side because this is going to be the front. And I'm going to try to do little individual on the edges and then braid it back. So when I get done with everything, I will show you. Okay, you guys, so I didn't show you how I braided it. Um, I do not have a set braiding pattern when it comes to my hair. Um, I don't know, like I, sometimes I'm just trying different stuff. So um, in the videos, we can kind of look back and see all the different braiding patterns that I have. And maybe one day I'll be like, y'all, this is it. This is it. But anyway, what I did with this, because I'm going to show you the hair in just a moment. I wanted a braiding pattern that would kind of look more like individuals in the front. So what I did is, um, which you guys, if you watched me before, you know, in my edges, they're a little thin. So I, I like to add a little braiding, the kinky braiding here. Uh, please disregard my nails. We're going to get it all together in just a moment, okay? So anyway, so I take a little bit of braiding here and I do, I did a part here, a part here. This is a part that led into another braid. This is a part, a part, a part. So I braided just a little bit with the braiding hair and, you know, then I added it to another braid. Um, this was, I took this break, this separate one right here and added it as I started this. Um, yeah, so I kind of made little individual just on the edges and you can't really see it on the right behind this one on each ear. And then the rest, I kind of like maybe added to another braid or added to another braid and went back. So I'm just going to go around. Oh, and I did something different. I did this on some of my clients here before. Um, sometimes when I'm trying to get coverage in different areas and I no longer have their hair or maybe I braid their hair down, um, but I need to add some more crochet in a different area. I will take some more uh, braid in here, loose braid in here, braid it down to a really long braid, kind of skinny, and I'll use the crochet needle and go up in different areas where I need to go. And then I can just add some more crochet hair to it. So, for example, I'm going to do a slow turn. I can't really see what you guys can see. So, when I look back, hopefully, you know, I did a great job I'm in the frame. I have great lighting. Um, so, as you can see, when I got down here to the bottom, I added braiding hair to this one. Braided it down. It's pretty long. And I went up that side and came down on this side. <laughs> and I had a little bit of hair that was hanging out right here. And I just cut it off. I went around this braid with the crochet needle probably about three times and just cut off the excess because 
I got tired of braiding that braid. Um, and yeah. So I know I'm gonna go again because it's crazy. Like this this braiding pattern is crazy. Uh up in here, I took braid from this one and went down that line. And then went from this braid and go down this line and also added hair from here. So it's just a lot of adding and borrowing. And from the side to side, I would always grab hair and loop it around the outside braid and then go back in. So I tried to fill in the holes, but still not do such a rigorous braiding pattern. Um, and we're going to see how this goes. When I come back, it'll probably be after I put the hair in and you guys can see the coverage. All right, so the hair that was sent to me <laughs> uh, to try out okay so this is a a lock type of crochet uh, it's pretty long this is way longer than you have, would have ever seen your girl rock but I figure I'm going to put it in, see how I like it. If I hate it, I'll cut it or take it out. Period. Uh, so, uh, it's kind of thin uh, too, but um, it's not too thin. And the, the waves of the curls, I feel like, hopefully, that means you won't need as much coverage. So, I'm curious but scared at the same time. Um, I think it's maybe about eight packs that they sent me. Um, I think this is an 18 inch. You guys below will be the information about the name of the crochet, how long they are. And in the description will be a link to shop on Amazon, period. <laughs> so I'll be back and show you guys how it look. Um, y'all know how I am when it comes to looking too weavy. I'm going to make that a thing. So I don't want to look too weavy. So hopefully I'm going to still look tasteful. But we shall see. All right. I'll be back. So this is the finished product. Um, I really am feeling it. Only thing I'll say, this hair is soft. This hair really does give you a nice lock look. Uh, but this hair can be heavy, which is probably why I don't normally get hair this long. And the ends do not um, get thin, like they don't feather. Um, if you guys have seen, they've started to create crochet that feather at the ends. So it's, it's similar to natural hair because most natural hair, it's thicker at the roots, but as you get to the ends of the hair, uh, it feathers out or it's not as thick and it looks better, it lays better, all of that. They didn't do that on these locks, so that would be the first con that I would say because it actually feels heavy. Most of my crochet don't feel so heavy. Um, honestly, this look right here is something I wouldn't mind trying again for a look, but it's, it's drama, okay? Like, I was washing clothes and... I leaned over too far and didn't realize I wet the tips of my hair, um, putting detergent in and I felt water on my back and I was like, I wet my hair? Like, <laughs> this hair is that long? You can get in the washing machine? Like, it's a little dramatic <laughs> for me, but it's a look and I don't mind trying it out. I don't mind. Oh, y'all, my earring coming out. Jesus. So let's do a turnaround, a 360. Okay, so right now I just have it in a ponytail and I'm going to insert pictures of like my full outfit so you can see the length on my body. <laughs> Oh, guys, and if I get, if you get kind of close up, my grays are kind of poking out, and I'm actually happy about that. I was even thinking about, like, taking a few of them and wrapping some grays, but I didn't feel like trying to figure out how to do it so it'll look pretty and not look like 
boom, gray. <laughs> so I just opted to just leave it alone. And when I saw my edges, my gray edges poking out, I was happy about that. Um, but yeah, so this is just me turning around again, letting you guys see how it looks from my parts. Um, I did my best to try to hide any holes. If you see any holes, um, sorry. <laughs> and if I bring it all to the front, look, I can't even go back far enough because I'm in my bathroom. It's pretty long. So I think for the most part, I'm probably going to like wearing it off to the side. <clears throat> it just gives me a look I don't normally wear. Um, and I'm kind of cool with that. Just having every now and then having a different look. It's nothing wrong with that. I don't think <clears throat> as long as you maintain who you are and you're not going around, going around acting a fool because you don't got your hair done or you got some length. But anyway, so this is, um, I'll make sure I link the link, put the link below for the Amazon 24 inch faux locks. They come with six pack. The hair is soft. It can be a little lengthy, a little heavy because it uh, the ends do not feather. And so it the length is going to cause some weight. Um, so if you're worried about it being a little heavy, please make that consideration. Um, but otherwise, I think they look really nice. Uh, they have a nice sheen to them. Uh, not too much shine. Um, this is in the color 1B. All right, so again, thank you for catching this video. Again, this is your girl, Keita Javon. All right, and make sure you go and like, subscribe, um, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And um, I just pray that all of my social media family is blessed, all of my YouTube family is blessed. Let's go out there this thing together. Let's make our dreams and our aspirations, our goals, let's make them work. All right, we out of here.